Today, we're heading to the island of Bohol in the Philippines. Okay. In the Philippines, not all kids get to go to school and learn, especially if they have a disability. And a disability that a lot of kids have in the Philippines is deafness. Being deaf means you aren't able to hear. So when you hear cars honking their horns, or your teachers talking in school, kids who are deaf can't hear that. Deaf kids may not be able to hear with their ears, but they can talk and listen with their hands. Deaf people can use something called sign language. Sign language turns special hand motions into different words. How cool is that? Thankfully, in the Philippines, a group of people started a school just to help deaf kids get an education. They teach classes in sign language so everyone can learn and communicate. The school director found out that a little boy named John wanted to join their school. So he went out looking for him. So he went looking for John and his father. We went over to a little bakery by the highway and we told him we're looking for the father of the little deaf boy, that's all we knew. And a guy named Jojo showed up. A young man was very open and very interested in us trying to help his son John into school. And so we asked if he could, we could meet John. So he took us around the back of the bakery. Jojo has three little girls and John, the little boy. And they all sleep inside this garbage pile. My heart went out to these little kids. Finally, he found John. There he is. <laughs> Hi. Even though he couldn't hear, John was very happy to see them. The school even donated new clothes for John to wear. <laughs> I think he likes them. Even though John had never used sign language before, he learned it very quickly. John is now in school, in art school in La Home. Uh, we just found him last Saturday and it's uh, really very uh, fast. This morning, uh, when he just arrived in the office, we show him the dorm where he will stay. We introduce him to his uh, new teachers, and the teachers are very, very also very helpful and introduce him to his classmates. Then his classmates teach him some sign language. We made a sign name for him. He is very happy now that he is going to school. It seems like he showed willingness and interest in his study. Isn't it amazing to see how John communicates with his teachers and how they hear him through his hands? In the Bible, the book of Psalms tell us, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Johnny's only been in school for a couple months and he already knows a lot of sign language communicates really well. What is this thing right here? What's this? A tree, right. And then that's what's one of these. Tree, leaf. Leaf, yeah. Where, where you see, oh, you see a boat, a boat out there, right. Right, so he's learning all the words. Very fast, two months. <laughs> no crab there. Yeah, there, there. Ah, yeah, there's a crab there. See him? John doesn't say words like we do, but God hears everything he says. God is listening to you too. Whether you speak out loud or whisper a prayer in your heart, God hears you. You are treasured.